Hi guys, Eddie Dempsey, the Deputy General Secretary of the RMT, made a wonderful point when he was speaking to other trade unionists recently. He explained something that most people don't seem to get, and this is probably due to our social conditioning that tells us that if people earn big bucks, it's because they're extremely valuable to the company or organization that they run. Eddie compared the real value of CEOs to ordinary workers and made a wonderful point. Have a listen to this. If CEOs of these private care companies or CEOs of these private cleaning companies that run contracts in the NHS and in universities and the railways and everywhere else, if they didn't turn up tomorrow because of, I don't know, aliens visited and they were beamed up to another planet, everything would carry on as normal. Mm. If our people don't turn up tomorrow, if care workers don't turn up tomorrow, then we've got a real crisis. And that's where we've got to realise the social value of what people do. I couldn't agree more. The social value of what people do. And unfortunately, the in the examples he's given here of care workers or cleaners or other people at the bottom of the economic scale within a company or corporation, they have been conditioned over years and decades to believe that they have no value, that they're just wheels in a massive machine, and that the people of real value are the ones at the top of the chain. Now, what happens, I just want to expand on this a little bit, what happens if, for example, a cleaner or a care worker messes up? They make some mistakes, minor mistakes or major mistakes. What happens? Well, they may get a verbal warning or a number of verbal warnings. They may get a written warning or they may be just sacked on the spot. But in, a, in either case, they will likely lose their job. And in some cases, if it's really bad, they may never work in that field again. They'll have to find another job. What happens if they do a really good job? They may get a pat on the back. They may get uh, a cake or a bottle of wine, or they may get a little bonus at Christmas. That's probably the most that they can expect. Now, if we look at the other end of the scale, the CEO, what happens if they mess up? If they make a major mistake, if they take the wrong decision? Well, it could result in the company closing down or it could result in the company losing billions or millions of pounds. It could result in the company laying off thousands of staff, destroying thousands of lives because of a bad decision. But what happens to that CEO if they do make those bad decisions? Well, in many cases, they'll be sent on their way with a massive check. Off you go to the next company and here's some money to keep you going. So it's not a real punishment. In many cases, they move into a similar sector. Uh, if you look at Dido Harding, who ran one company into the ground, was handed a £37 billion contract to run the test and trace program, which was described as an absolute failure. And now she's a member of the House of Lords. So it's important that people remember that their, their work is of value. And just because somebody at the top of the company is earning millions or more than that, it doesn't mean that they are of more value. And as Eddie pointed out as well, if the CEO misses a day or even a week or a month, would it really change anything within the company? Well, if the cleaner is not there or the care worker is not there, it has an immediate impact. And I think people need to remember that if they're considering strike action. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.